In the last lecture, we learned how to create or insert documents in a collection. Now, in this lecture, let's learn how we can read or fetch documents from a collection in MongoDB. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. Here, I am in the MongoDB shell and currently we are in SampleDB database. And in this SampleDB database, we have two collections, this customer collection and this products collection. Now, let's say from this customer collection, we want to fetch the first document. To do that, on this customer collection, we can call find1 method. This find1 method is going to return us the first document from this customer collection. Here you can see this document where this name is John. It is the first document in this customer collection. Now let's say I want to fetch the first document from this customer collection where name is Steve. For that, again we can use this find1 method. But this time, to this find1 method, we need to pass a filter. And for the filter, within these parentheses, we need to specify a set of curly braces like this. And inside that, we can specify the filter. So here, we want to fetch that document where name is Steve. So for that, we can say name, colon, and the value for that name. So here, the name should be Steve. And now if I go ahead and press enter, this find1 method will return us the first document from the customer collection where this name key matches Steve. Okay, so here it has returned us this document. And in this document, you can see that this name has this value Steve. So find1 method returns us one document. If to this find1 method, we don't specify any filter, in that case, it is going to return us the first document from the collection. But if we specify a filter to this find1 method, in that case, it is going to return us the first document from the collection which satisfies that filter. So when you want to query a single document from the collection, you can use find1 method. Let's clear the console. And now let's talk about find method. So when you want to fetch all the documents from a collection or when you want to fetch all the documents which satisfies a given condition from a collection, in that case, you can use find method. For example, if I say db.customer and customer here is the collection name dot find, this find method is going to return us all the documents from this customer collection. So as you can see, the find method has returned us all the documents from the customer collection. And to this find method, we can also pass a filter. For example, Within these parentheses of this find method, we can specify a curly braces. And let's say from this customer collection, we want to find all those documents where name is John. For that, within these curly braces, we can specify the filter. So here, the name should be John. Now, if I go ahead and if I press enter, you can see that this find method has returned two documents. And in both of these documents, this name is set to John. So based on this filter, this find method has returned us all the documents which satisfies this filter. In this example, these two documents satisfies this filter. So these two documents have been returned by this find method. In the same way, if I want to fetch all the documents where the gender is male, in the filter I can specify gender as male. And this should return us all the documents where the gender is male. So you can see it has returned us all the documents where this gender is male. So in this way, we can also pass a filter to the find method. You can also specify which fields to return to find and find one method. For example, let's say when we are fetching the documents from this customer collection using this find method, in the result, we only want to have this name field and this age field. We don't want to have this ID field and gender field. So that also we can specify for that to this find method. We need to pass a second argument and this is also going to be an object. So for that we specify curly braces and inside that we specify the fields which we don't want in the result here. We don't want this ID field in the result. So to this ID field, we can assign this value zero or we can assign value false and we also don't want to have this gender field. So here. We can specify that field and there we can set this gender field to false or we can also set it to zero. So now if I go ahead and if I press enter, you can see 
that this find method is still returning these five documents so these five documents but now in the result we don't have this underscore id field and this gender field so in this way we can also specify the fields which we want to have in the result and the same is true for find one method as well let's clear the console again and let's run the previous command one more time now in some cases when you use find method to fetch documents from a collection it does not print the documents in a formatted way but if you want to print the documents in a formatted way you can use pretty method on the find method so for example on this find method if i use pretty method it should show us the result in a formatted way okay so remember that to print a formatted result you can use pretty method on find method and also remember that this pretty method can only be used on find method it cannot be used on find one method so in this lecture we learned how to query documents from a collection using find and find one method and we also learned how to query documents from a collection based on some filters this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day